Hey, good evening, YouTube. Who by me? Back again. How y'all doing? Good, good, good. I hope. Anyhow, I'm back again doing another review. So I'm going to be doing another review from the Unibrow Brewing Company in Chamblay, Quebec, Canada. This is their Obinite 7.7% ABV. Um, beer and Lees. It's a triple. Does that look familiar? Does that guy look familiar? Think long and hard. Anyhow, foil cap. I hate foil caps, but anyways, going to be using my unibrow glass. It says to use a goblet, but I don't have a goblet. I have a goblet, but I don't have a unibrow goblet. And I like doing, if I have the glass for that brewery, I'd like to use the glass with the beer. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be using my Blanche de Chamblay glass. And there you go, unibrow. It says it right there. So. And I showed you, it was signed by the brewmaster on the back. It's a pretty cool glass. So, without further ado, let's crack her open and uh, give her a go. Nice smokage there coming out of the bottle. See that? Oh, yeah, look at that. Still coming out, man. That's crazy. Mm, it smells good. So, let's give her a pour. And it's a beer on Lee's, so you're supposed to. Shake it around and get some of that yeast from the bottom. So that's what I just did. Give her a pour. So there you have it. It's unfiltered. You can't see the carbonation. Um, it's kind of like a dark yellow, dark hay color. Nice two finger head, small and medium bubbles. Kind of a white head, kind of like a, looks like a milkshake type of head. So let's give her a smell, see what we get. I think Obanite means devil in water, I'm not 100% sure. But nice sweet malt characters there. Kind of a slightly fruity uh, kind of flavors there. You get some like pear, apple, melon. A slight bit of spiciness there as well. Also a bit of uh, floralness. So without further ado, uh, let's uh, give her a go. Down the hatch. Wow. Big sweet maltiness on the tip of your tongue. As it rolls across your tongue towards the back of your throat, you pick up that nice um, um, fruity characters of the like the apple, the pear, the melon, that kind of character. And there's like a slight white pepper kind of spiciness there. There's also like a floral coating as it goes across your tongue as well with the fruits. Hits the back of your throat, it's nice and dry. But 
it's a it you can taste that it's a big beer like because there's a lot of sweetness there you know that there's a lot of malt meaning if there's a lot of malt it means there's a lot of alcohol and it's almost at eight percent ABV so you know there's no there's not really there's a slight bit of alcohol warming at the very back of your throat but it's very faint but it's getting to that point where you know that you know it's it's gonna be a big whopping beer excuse me um, you know it's a really decent beer like a nice malty presence fruity esters from the Belgian yeast um, you know nice floral hints all the way through and uh, yeah um, I'm gonna say it's a good job um, you know I wouldn't want to drink too many of these in a row you know I think one or two would be my max in a single sitting um, just because the flavor is just it's right there it's in your face so uh, you know it's, it's a, I'd say it's like a, a fairly malt forward beer so anyhow uh, malt profile I'm gonna say there's some uh, two row in there some wheat in there uh, maybe a couple of specialty grains, maybe a, a slight bit of a crystal caramel malt, and maybe a slight bit of like carafoam or caroma, something like that, something with a, a low uh, color love of bond. Um, hot profile again, I'm going to have to say like East Kent Goldings, Steering Goldings, uh, um, Tetnager, Tetnang, like that kind of hop, the floral kind of spicy kind of kick there. And there you have it. If you guys can uh, find us in your area, Obanite, 7.7% ABV. It is a Belgian triple. Good. Give it a go. And uh, yeah, just uh, be careful because uh, it'll creep up on you and give you a nice kick in the arse. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any uh, ideas, comments in the box down below there. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, you know.